Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is while you're watching this. It's often said, if you're competent, you do a job. If you're incompetent, you do a job for a council. I live in Northamptonshire, luckily outside Northampton itself, but in this part of the world, in what is now West Northamptonshire Council. Northamptonshire Council and Northampton Borough Council both went bust. I'm not sure how you manage that, charging 50 quid to uh, have a green bin for garden waste because people in flats shouldn't pay this as part of their council tax. Hey, I don't have any children. Give me a rebate because I don't wear out the swings and roundabouts in the local park or how about this? Charge people that have kids. Oh no, you can't because that's unfair and against human rights. Anyway, Northampton Town Council went bust because... Uh, various things including lending ten and a half million quid to the local football club to redevelop the stand and not actually getting anything in the way of collateral for when it didn't get repaid by a bunch of thieving shysters and uh, yeah I can say this because they've all been found guilty in various extents to being a bunch of thieving shysters. Anyway, the incompetence of the various council people meant that Northamptonshire got turned into two unitary authorities, and I have to live in one of these. Still, you can see money's being spent somewhere. We had a road sweep around recently for the first time in... I think I've seen two in the 20 years I've lived back in the area where I was born. And they recently repainted some white line. You would have thought you wouldn't have just painted down a pothole. You'd have put in a work request for that to have been done first. And instead of tidying up the loose grit, they just shoved it out the way, painted the lines and then let the cars run over it. Which has now created a massive hazard for any motorbikes turning into this road. So well done, WNC. Does that actually stand for we're not competent? But it's not all bad news though, a few yards down the road they haven't repainted the junction lines so they've not had to worry about sweeping the grip out the way and into the carriageway. Still further down the road they didn't repaint the white lines which mark hazards, um, in this case a double bend. But uh, yeah, never mind, we probably ran out of paint, ran out of time, ran out of being bothered or ran out of being paid. West North Ants Council, your roads are a joke as are the rest of the UK's. If your contractors do something this bad, why not call them into account and pull the contract for incompetence? But no doubt you'll have signed up for this without having to put any sort of break clauses in or any sort of competency clauses in for the contractors. Because in the good old days, councils used to have people that did this and did a proper job and took pride in it. These days, they farm it out to people who can do it for the cheapest price and obviously do the cheapest job. Right, that's my rant over for now. I'm going to ride somewhere with better roads like Warwickshire. I would say Oxfordshire, but everywhere there is going down to 20 mile an hour limits now. Now I can understand it outside schools or where the roads are hazardous, in places like Wardington where the, it's really tight and twisty, but uh, through every town and village, no, not really. But never mind, it keeps the road safety lot and the Green Party happy, so there we go. Stay safe, stay upright, stay off the gravel, look out for freshly painted white lines in the area because you could find big piles of grit where you're not expecting them and tatty bye for now.